Hello, today we are going to demonstrate how to use a brick and mortar saw to remove deteriorated mortar and delaminated joints. The National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health has found that by using this saw, you can reduce silica dust by 67 to 77% as opposed to traditional grinders. Read the tool manual for safety, operational and maintenance information. Also, be sure to wear iron hearing protection, gloves and a respirator with an N95 filter. Hold the saw by both the tool handle and motor housing. Fit your brick and mortar saw with a hood or shroud. This will significantly reduce airborne dust. Make sure your vacuum has the right filter for silica dust. Also, if your vacuum doesn't have a filter cleaning mechanism, use a pre-separator to remove debris that might clog the vacuum. Failure to use a dust hood when removing mortar will increase your exposure to harmful silica dust. While I'm removing the mortar, we're going to monitor my exposure to respirable dust. Also, you'll see a screen overlay of dust levels recorded in real time. When using a general purpose blade, the best cutting area is along this section here. Make sure you start the tool before you push it into your brick surface. To start the cut, hold the tool firmly in your hands and apply the middle of the blade's cutting edge to the mortar. The direction of the cut is towards the rear of the blade. When cutting mortar, move the tool and blade in a slow sawing motion. This will improve the cut rate, reduce concentrated heat buildup, and ensure even wear on the blades. Gently score along your cut line. Once the initial cut is made, you can apply more pressure and work in a rocking motion. When using any of the blade types, avoid hammering of the ends of the blades and the ends of the cut by using a slow rocking and sweeping motion. For best performance, try to ensure that the teeth are the only part of the blade in contact with the mortar. Remember, if you do find you are hammering on either the nose or the heel of the blade, check your blade bolts in case they've come loose. To reduce the risk of serious personal injury, turn the tool off and disconnect the tool from the power source before making any adjustments or removing or installing attachments or accessories. Before reconnecting the tool, depress and release the trigger switch to make sure the tool is not on. Using a brick and mortar saw can significantly reduce your exposure to silica dust. As the bar graph on the screen shows, respirable dust levels are lower when this saw and dust collector are used compared to using a grinder. Remember, you only have one pair of lungs. Work with your employer to keep them healthy.